Hey there everybody, this is the RC Buyers Club review channel and today I'm going to do a review on Thunderpower uh, LiPo batteries. These are 2250 milliamp 45C 3 cell LiPos. They're called the G8 Performance Pro. Um, let me see if I can get a little closer shot on that. It's kind of a glare. 3 cell. Got some Velcro on the back. It's got their... Uh, Thunder Power lead there, the smaller pins on it. Um, okay, let me first off say with these batteries, um, these are great batteries. Uh, I've been using them for almost two years now. These same batteries, I use them in this 450 helicopter behind them. Um, I use them in a couple of different park zone airplanes with uh, like a 30, 35 amp speed control. They they have no problem handling anything I've put them in yet. They don't get warm. Um, when I balance them and I charge them, they balance perfect from day one. They've balanced perfect. Uh, even when I discharge them, which I don't discharge them to exercise them. When I discharge them to put them in storage mode, they uh, they balance perfect all the way down into storage mode. A lot of people don't understand. Um, like just the other day I was at the track and I bought a battery for my car and uh, I went to charge it and I noticed when it was balancing um, one of the cells wasn't really keeping up with the other one so I put it in a discharge mode and one of the cells dropped off right away a lot of people don't do that they'll hook your battery up to a voltage meter and see that both cells or all three cells are 4.18 4.19 and think that they're okay but when you put a load on that, it will drop the bad cell all the way down if there is a bad cell on your battery. Um, just a quick hint there, tip. Um, so put a, uh, a load on your batteries and make sure that they're okay every once in a while. These batteries here, um, I live in Colorado, so it, it's very cold during the winter. It's pretty much cold all year round. Um, so these batteries sit in storage mode in my closet. Uh, for I would say six to seven months at least and I'll tell you what when I put them in storage mode each cell gets dropped down to 3.8 uh, 3.81 and I'll tell you after I break them out of storage mode and and put them on a charger they haven't moved one tenth of a volt I mean they're exactly where I put them that's how good these batteries are another thing that I like to touch is um a lot of people say you don't need a hundred dollar battery, which these aren't hundred dollar batteries, but I'm just, for an example, you don't need a hundred dollar battery for your helicopter or plane. Uh, you can go ahead and get one of the cheaper uh, Hobby King type batteries, a Zippy or a Tenergy, and they, they're fine. You know, that's what people say. They're fine. And in some cases, they're okay, but the difference is those batteries are cheap for a reason. They have a real high internal resistance rate. Thunder Power has a real low internal resistance rate. Um, now I know that this, like to an electrician, that this probably isn't the correct term, but I like to say that a cheap battery has dirty electricity in it. Okay, um, these Thunder Power batteries have clean electricity. They flow very well. That's what makes them such good batteries. Uh, I mean, like I said, I've never even gotten one of these batteries lukewarm. I mean, they just, and that's pushing them hard. I fly that helicopter very hard. It, it, if you know about helicopters, I fly that in idle up mode for a full five minutes, sometimes six minutes, um, and I fly hard. You know, I'm doing loops, flips. Uh, I'm not, you know, Alan Zabel. I'm not doing TikToks and stuff like that, but I'm doing harder stuff. I'm, I'm you know, banking it real hard, putting load on the, on the heli. Um, and these batteries they don't even come off warm. I mean, they're just perfect. I never see a sign of fading on them. Um, even when, I, when I've flown the helicopter real hard and go to charge them, I haven't even, you know, I've used half the capacity of the battery. I still could have probably gotten another minute out of the battery. Um, also with the planes, I'll, I have a couple of Warbird, you know, the Falk Wolf from Park Zone um, with a bigger prop on it. It's pulling... 35 32 amps and I'll fly that thing hard full throttle for five minutes and again the motor and speed controller will be warm or even hot 
the batteries are perfectly fine. And it's just one of those things, if you match up your, your, your whole system, your battery, your speed control, and your motor uh, equally, you're going to be okay. And when you pick a good battery, that's the thing, is you're going to be, these batteries are going to last me years, years. Not just a season, and then it's going to start puffing up after 10 flights. No, that's what you pay a little bit extra money for. You want a good discharge rate on your battery. You want low internal resistance. You want a quality battery from a quality company. If you call Thunder Power and you tell them one of these batteries is bad, they're probably going to work with you. Um, I mean, I've never done it because I've never had to. But what I've heard, and I think it's even in their owner's manual, is they have like a crash replacement. If you crash one of their batteries, it's like 50% crash replacement or something. Um, and they do have a pretty decent warranty on them. I forgot what exactly what it is, but you can go on their website and look it up. It's a pretty decent warranty. And again, you get what you pay for, folks. These are quality batteries from a quality company. They stand behind their, it says right here, number one in performance and reliability. That's absolutely couldn't be more true. Uh, I've worked at a hobby shop for, I don't work there anymore, but I worked at a hobby shop for, I think, almost four years. Okay, I've seen tons of batteries come and go. I've seen tons of batteries come and go. I've seen good ones that were okay for the price, and I've seen ones that were like, wow, that's an expensive battery, and they're still junk. These batteries, i never seen them come back. You know, The only thing I saw is in crashes, people would snap the, the leads off of them and then try to get a warranty on them. And it's kind of like, well, you crashed the battery you know, it's kind of, it's not their fault. It's, it's your fault. And again, they would probably work with you. You know, you send it back and they'll repair it for you or, you know, give you another battery at a discounted rate. However they work. But like I said, these are a good quality battery, low internal resistance. Uh, another thing, let me touch real quick. Um, this car here, my slash that I race has a castle creations, brushless motor in it. Okay. And in the owner's manual, they stress to put quality batteries into the car. Don't use cheap batteries, they keep telling you. Make sure that you have a good quality battery with low internal resistance. And the reason they want that is because they want their motor to perform right. And the only way their motor is going to perform right is if you have good quality batteries in your car. Or whatever this is, the situation is. And like I said, the cheaper batteries... They'll, perf they'll, you know, they'll work. They work. It's not like they don't work. It's just, you know, I, I guarantee if you take a cheap so-and-so battery, a Hung Nor or whatever, you know, Tenergy, and you replace it with the equivalent in a Thunder Power battery, I guarantee you'll tell a difference in that. That flight or that car, the speed, the performance, the duration of your flight or drive, whatever, it's going to be improved. And... I believe in some cases it's absolutely worth the money to spend a little bit more on a Thunder Power battery than a cheap knockoff battery that's not going to last you a whole season. And if it does, you know, it's probably got a bad sell on it. You probably don't realize it. You probably don't realize, you know, that your plane has a ton more power if you just put the right battery in it. Also, running those cheaper batteries with low internal resistance or with a higher internal resistance will cause uh, your motor to heat up quicker. It will cause your speed controller to heat up quicker. Um, there's a lot of other things that it does too that I don't want to get real complicated because people might not understand. So just know that there is a, there is a difference. Um, I love these batteries. Uh, I've used tons of different batteries. I've even used other big name brand batteries, there's just no comparison. I'll always come back to Thunder Power. Um, and it's really crazy because uh, when you go to a flight field, you see a lot of Thunder Power batteries. At least with the guys that know what they're doing, that are uh, have been around for a while, especially helicopter guys. Um, I mean, we, we, we don't have any room for air when you're flying a helicopter. If this thing drops a cell when I'm upside down, I'm out 600 bucks, you know, and a battery, and it's just, you know, it's just not good. With a plane, uh, you know, you might be able to float it in or be able to tell that it's something's wrong with it and get it in. A car, yeah, a car's on the ground, you don't have to worry about it. When you're racing, 
Well, it's a different story. You know, it's a totally different story. And I know that Trax, or I mean, uh, Thunder Power, sorry, is not a roar battery for cars. But as far as most tracks are going to let you run them, um, I think you can get roar proof cases that you can put your Thunder Power batteries in, and then it's a roar approved battery. Um, but let me tell you something if you're running a 10 minute main in an electric car and you want to absolutely, you know, you've been in first for the qualifies and everything, you want to make sure you're going to finish that race. You want a good quality battery that's going to keep up the whole time. And, uh, it kind of takes that factor out that, you know, you didn't win because of your battery. You didn't win because of you, maybe, but it wasn't because of your battery. So, um, I guess that's about it on the Thunder Power batteries. Give them a try. I promise you'll probably never go back to any other battery. Uh, they're just they're just that much worth it. They're, they're, they're worth it. Another thing, uh, these are the only three Thunder Power batteries I own right now at the time. I've had many 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 more um when you want to sell these batteries on ebay or to a buddy these resell real good okay you can get uh let's just say i think those batteries right there cost me like 55 dollars a piece maybe i think I, I really don't remember since it was almost two years ago let's just say they're 55 dollars a piece i could easily right now get 30 dollars a piece on ebay for these i'm not saying i'm going to sell them i'm just saying that if for some reason all of a sudden you're out of the hobby and you're trying to get rid of your stuff, well, there's a little bit of money. And if you had some Tenergy or some knockoff batteries, um, you're going to be giving them away, if not throwing them away. Because, I mean, I, I wouldn't buy a used Tenergy battery, not even if it was like for $2. Um, and I'm not trying to be a snob here. I've just, like I said, I've been around this stuff for a long time. I've worked in hobby shops. Um, I've been around a lot of very good flyers, pro flyers, and there's a reason pros use this stuff. And it's not just because they're sponsored, um, because before they were sponsored, this is the battery they were using. And now they're actually sponsored by them because, you know, you use good parts, you become a good pilot. Um, you put dedication into stuff, you become good at what you do. So it's not all about the battery. I mean, obviously... You know, you got to be good, a good pilot and dedicated to stuff you do or a good driver. But like I said, try these batteries out. I guarantee you'll love them and they're going to last you a long time. And uh, another thing I do, just a, a quick thing I do, uh, I got these for the helicopter. This is the size for the helicopter. When, I, when I'm shopping around for planes, I like to buy, uh, I like to buy ready to run stuff or bind and fly stuff. Sometimes I'll buy an ARF, uh, you know, a kit type plane, but I like to pull them out of the box and, you know, adjust them and fly them. I buy all my planes according to these batteries, which are kind of like almost any size park zone plane right around the run of the mill plane that they have are going to take this battery. Even some of their bigger planes can still take this battery because it has enough power. Um, I have a multiplex fun cub, which is like a 50... I want to say a 55 inch wing. I forgot exactly. It's a bigger foam plane. It's a big, uh, it's a fun cub. So it's a, a cub airplane. And these batteries are perfect for it. They're lightweight, ton of power, and the perfect amount of running time, perfect amount of milliamps. I probably get uh, seven to eight minutes on that, on that plane with these because I'm not full throttle a lot. It, you know, that plane flies at half throttle. Um, I even can do some. 3D stuff with them during the flight, a little bit of hovering, um, and these batteries are perfect. They just last forever. I'm telling you, don't don't hesitate to buy these at all. They're great. So that's going to wrap up the whole review here. Um, if you have any questions, put it in the comments below on the the Facebook or the YouTube page here, and uh, I'll I'll answer them right away. Let you know anything that you need to know, or if you have any questions, let me know. All right, thanks for watching the RC Review channel, and I'll see you guys later.